Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use Affinity Photo's lighting tool to turn pictures into illustrations. So the first thing we need to do is get a plain white background. So we're going to go up here to Layer, New Fill Layer, and if white is your fill color that's already selected, then white will appear. Otherwise you need to change it to white. And then next is Layer, New Live Filter Layer, and go down here to Lighting. And we want to make sure that the lighting layer is on top. So drag it up to the top if it's not already there. And we're going to get rid of the specular. And then down here where it says type, you want point. But we need to get rid of all the gray. We want a nice bright white background. So we're going to slide this distance over until it's bigger than the picture. You can slide it all the way if you want. Just nice bright white, no dark in the corners. And then down here, just load bump map. Now you can only use JPEGs and PNGs. I tried to use a vector, it didn't work. So we are going to use this PNG of a fish. And it doesn't look like anything until you start sliding the texture, either up or down. The, the higher up or the higher down you go, the more texture appears. So we're going to put it all the way at 100, and we're going to get all the texture we can. And you want scale horizontally to f and vertically checked. You want these two boxes checked, because if they're not checked, it doesn't fit in the picture. We want it to fit, because we're going to make it so that we can change the size ourselves. Okay, so now you can go to File, Export, and export it as a JPEG. And I already did it before, so we'll just copy over that one call it fish. Right now I'm going to turn the lighting layer off because I'm going to use it later and I'm going to turn this fill off and I'm going to turn on a different fill layer so it's easier to see. You go up here to file, place, and we're going to get that fish picture that we just saved and now you've got a fish that you can change the size, move around, whatever you want and we're now we just need to get rid of that white and it is so easy i love this you just go to filter colors erase white paper and it's gone it's that simple and now you do whatever you want with that fish just as if it were any other picture and if you don't like how dark it is the easiest way to darken it that i found is to just Control j duplicate the layer until you get it the way you want and then you can make a group or you can select all the layers and go up here to layer and click merge selected and then it just makes it one layer and it stays as dark as you wanted you can just whatever you want with your little fish and later on I'm going to show you how to make white lines instead of black so you can have a white fish on a darker background too but for now, we're going to go back and we're going to just show you how to use a, a photograph now and not just a drawing. So we are going to clear the bump map and we're also going to go back and we're going to turn on that white layer. We need the white. And we're going to load this picture. And the picture that I just loaded is actually longer than the picture that I loaded it onto. So it squished it a little, but that's okay because we can stretch it back out in a minute. And I think this one has too much texture on it. So we are going to go down a little. I don't need all that texture. Okay. And I can get rid of a lot of this. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to export it as a JPEG. And then we're going to turn that off, and I'm going to turn off the white layer, go to File, Place, we're going to pick the picture we just made. And I'm going to do this one the same way, I'm going to do Filters, Colors, and Erase White Paper. But then I also want to get rid of a lot of this other stuff, because I don't need it, it's too messy. So I'm just going to make a layer mask. And get the paintbrush tool, make sure I have black paint selected. 
and we're just going to erase away the stuff we don't want because it's just kind of a cluttered picture here there's too much going on all right I'm being a little sloppy because I'm kind of hurrying so just make sure you take your time and actually a harder brush going around these edges I think would be better because then it wouldn't erase the lines but for now this is what we're just gonna do real quick just so that you can see there we go oh, her hair is bugging me okay and so is that oops that was too much okay all right, so now you can do whatever you want with this layer. Oh, make sure when you're moving it that the picture layer is selected and not the mask. Otherwise, <laughs> just move the mask. So now we can do whatever we want with her. And like I said, she was squished before, so we're going to stretch it back out. And that is actually more accurate. And there you have it. It's just that easy. And once again, if you want it darker, you can duplicate the layers to make it darker. I think it's fine. I also sometimes like to add LUTs. There's one in particular that I think makes it look a little bit more like a drawing. I don't remember where I got these LUTs, but I will try and figure it out and put the link in the description because they were free. And I love them. I use them all the time. They're fun. So, but now I'm going to show you how to make white lines instead of black. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. And we actually don't need the lighting layer anymore. Because um, we're going to use the same fish picture that we made a minute ago. So we're going to go to place and we're going to just use the same JPEG that we made the first time. But this time, instead of erasing the white background, we are going to control I and invert the picture. So now the, li the lines are white. And then all you need to do is change the blend mode to screen. And that gives you a white fish instead of black. And I think it looks really good on that background. And then you can do all the same things you did before. You can can add LUTs, you can add your own adjustments, you can do whatever you want. I like that one. And that's it. It's that simple. So go ahead and give it a try and see what happens. <laughs> and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching.